kitty, 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 kitty. It is 10.45 p.m. I just got home. I don't see Boo anywhere. Oh, there's Boo. He's been sleeping in the bushes. What are you doing, Boo? How are you? He's stretching. Do you guys see him? How are you, Boo? You okay? You okay, Boo? I hope he's okay. Yeah, Stella. Looks like she was sleeping too. She just came to say hello. Hello, Stella. Hello. I gotta go. I have to finish unloading the car, okay? Okay, so I have no idea why, but Boo's new thing is to hang out in the bushes. I don't know why. What are you doing, Boo? How are you? How are you, Boo? Are you a good boy? Yeah? He looks okay. Boo, you have beautiful chairs to lay on. You have beautiful chairs to lay on. Why are you laying in the bushes? Why are you sleeping in the bushes, Boo? Come on. Come up here. Up here, look. Lay here. Sit down here, Boo. Look, I'm going to sit down here. I'm sitting down here. Come sit here. This is yours. He's being, like, super cautious. I hope nothing spooked him. Hey, Boo. Hello, Boo. You okay, Boo? You okay? You feeling okay? Yeah? Does it look like he's limping? There's Simba's hanging up by the door. All right, so I sat on the towel, so maybe he'll go jump on the chair now. Go ahead, Boo, up here. Jump up. Jump up. Jump up. You're a nice boy. Want some food? Would you like to eat some food? Want to eat some food? He's been pretty much just eating the dry food. Okay. I'm going to go give him a little bit of wet food. I'll give him like a perfect portion. So I left some dry food up here along with some fresh water and it looks like uh, they ate maybe like a third of the dry food that was up here. Here's Splash and Stella. Hello. Hello. So um, this was full when I left. So they ate all that dry food. And then here's the automatic feeders. Um, they ate some of the freeze-dried raw, and then they ate some of this dry food. Let's open these up and see um, how much of the raw they ate. So they left a little bit of raw there, a little bit of raw on each of these, and a little bit of raw on each of these. That's surprising. That's like the first time they've ever done that. So I'm giving him a Shiva perfect portion. I believe this is the chicken pate. Will he eat it? He might not be hungry if he ate all that dry food.
Okay, boo. I'll let you eat that. I'm gonna go inside and start unpacking. So here are the three inside cats, all hanging out. All hanging out. Probably looking for something to eat, because they really didn't eat their dinner, which was dry food. Well, they might have eaten their dry food from dinner. But I'll give them some treats. Usually when uh, I go away for more than 24 hours, I come home and I'll give them meaty sticks. So maybe I'll give them each a meaty stick right now. The other thing that I need to do is I need to clean up these feeders because the raw food um, will go bad. Usually the raw food starts smelling really rancid around the 48 hour mark. And right now um, we're probably at around the 36 hour mark, maybe a little bit past the 36 hour mark. So I'm gonna dispose of all the raw food and then like the dried food, I'm going to put in their little bowl and recycle that. Eat the meaty stick. Good boy, Splash. Good boy, Splash. Was that good? Was that good? Did you like the meaty stick? Here. Here. Eat it. Do you want it or no? Do you want the meaty stick? You don't want it? Guys, we are witnessing a first. This is a first. This is the first time Simba has ever not wanted a treat. Look at this. Oh my god. I hope he's okay. These are beef meaty sticks. They've never had beef meaty sticks. I normally don't even feed them beef. So maybe he just doesn't like beef. He just went under the chair to lay with Splash. Okay, Stella, you want your meaty stick? Stella likes to eat while she's laying down. She thinks she's a queen. Slow, 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 here. I'll try Simba one more time. Here. Want it? Here. Want it? This is very strange. Okay, Simba doesn't want it. But look what they did. Look what they did to the couch. So they took the blue moving blanket off of this half of the couch. And then see like this plastic baseball bat? Well, that's like tucked into uh, the cushions of the couch just to keep uh, this cover on the couch. And they've taken this out also. Okay, so right now Boo is curled up under this chair near the door. He ate his food. 
And there's Boo, and I have a meaty stick. And I'll give it to him there. I just, it's right underneath him. I'm not gonna hold it in my hand because he hasn't been there yet. He has not eaten anything out of my hand yet. And since it's late and it's dark and I just don't feel like, you know, causing him any stress right now. So it looks like he's eating that slow boo, slow, slow. He's eating it so fast, oh my gosh. Slow, slow. Okay, there you go. I am going to take what's left of this food and I am going to move it down here just so it's away from him if he wants to sleep near that chair. Okay, boo. Go in your chair, boo. Go on top of the chair, okay? Okay, you have a good night, boo. It looks like he's been spooked by something. I don't know. Really strange. Come on, boo. What you doing? Hmm? Is he hunting something? I hope he goes on the chair. Go on the chair, boo. Go up on the chair. Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna go inside. See you tomorrow, boo, okay? Go up on your chair. Go sleep on your chair. Okay, so after being away for like a day and a half, I just got home and this chirping noise is still chirping. So I just moved one of these ceiling tiles and I took a look inside and let me show you guys what is making this chirping noise. You see that smoke detector? I have a flashlight on it. Yeah, that smoke detector is what has been driving me crazy. So I need to open up the ceiling tile below it and take that smoke detector out. So when the people that own this house prior to me living here, um, they're the ones that finished off this basement. So when they finished off the basement, they put the ceiling up and they put it over the smoke detector. And there is the culprit. So the date on the smoke detector is September 18th, 2002. So that would make the smoke detector 15 years old. So here's the smoke detector that was on the wall that I just took down. Um, I need to replace this smoke detector. And then if we move, okay, maybe like one foot, two foot, not even three feet. That's where the other smoke detector is. You don't realize how nice and peaceful it is to live without a constant chirp every 33 seconds until the chirping stops.